It's a vanishing species here in America. <laughs> Mr. Donut used to serve tasty pastries here in Peoria for years. Now there's only one left in the country. Well, I think it's country, not county, right? Country, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, in, but it in America. It happens to be only a little drive away here in Illinois. Marty right. Wallenbacker from Meanwhile back in Peoria took a special trip there. Marty, <laughs> good morning. Hey, how you doing, Lauren? Not bad. You're good. so real you're good. So good. Good. All right. So, so, we're in Illinois. It's Godfrey, Illinois. It's uh, I St. Louis kind of. Yeah, it is. It's actually actually right. Um, it's like two and a half hours away. And I found out this was the last Mr. Donut. In fact, I found out a guy, uh, Chip Joyce, who writes for the blog Once in a Blue Moon, he, he had the idea for this story. He found out about it, and he told me about it. And like any good uh, uh, journalist, I thought, God, that sounds like a great story. So I just mm -hmm. took his idea and stole it okay. and then did it myself. There you go. <laughs> so I felt a little guilty. But there's, uh, actually, there's Scott uh, Turley, who drove us there. He's the MVIP uh, the big official road driver. Trip, big oh, road. Yeah, it was a road trip. Two and a half hours we went. Yeah. There's there's an old ad for the Mr. Donuts, and there were four locations here in Peoria. Wow. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I haven't been to one in like 30 years. I was going to say, how long have they been gone from the area, do you know? I think. Uh, like maybe the last one closed in the 80s. Okay. Oh, there's the while. one in Godfrey, Illinois. Oh my and they've gosh. got the original logo. Oh, wow. It was weird walking in there because I hadn't been in one probably since the 70s. And there's the inside of it. And uh, what was funny going in there, a lot of people that we met, because I'm taking pictures, so it's kind of a smaller town. And yeah. people are like, what, what are you doing? And yeah. uh, I'm like, this is the last Mr. Donut. They don't realize, most people there, that they're, they had the last. Mr. Donut. They are the only one. The only yeah. one, yeah, in, in the United States. They don't know how States. lucky they are. They don't. And the donuts there are really good. That's Caleb, who worked behind the counter. I called ahead because, as you saw in the shop before, they told me they sell out. I called, and they sell out by like 1 or 2 in the afternoon. Okay. And oh, we got there kidding. at 1.30. Well, there's the empty shelves. So what, <laughs> did, what did you partake in when you went there? Well, you're going to see in a second here. I called ahead then and reserved mm -hmm. a, a box of a dozen. There's a dozen of their donuts. And I'm telling you, biting into those it was like biting into a, a slice of the past because Aww. they are—they really do taste different. They have really? their own. They have their own recipe. Oh. There's Scott digging into his. And, nice uh, cup of coffee there with it. Yeah, they, yeah, and they had their own special coffee that. I, when I put this up on Facebook, it was amazing. I never know how these are going to go. They're, I'm biting into a chocolate, <laughs> chocolate float. Chocolate Long John. Yeah. yeah. Long John. I always call it a float. A float? Yeah. <laughs> so how would, you, how would you describe the taste of these compared to other donuts you've had? They're like thicker. Uh, they're, they're a little sweeter. Ooh, just okay. a lot Ooh, better. Yum. And there's an old time ad they got on the walls. They have these, and uh, Caleb who works there, he said that's from like the 70s. And it's Ooh, like Mr. Original. Donut makes it good. There's, there's the uh, oh, mat. Nice. Very cool. It is. I want and, a Mr. Donut. Well, I wanted to bring you guys <laughs> some, but I thought that we did this last Wednesday. Yeah. And I thought, well, yeah, I knew that we'd yeah. do the segment this week on it, and I thought, well, hey, the donuts would be kind of stale then. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough. That's all right. But I did. I, I got the box. All right. I don't okay. know if you want to zoom in. The actual logo is right there. We don't know what's in the box, by the way. No, yeah, I got a little surprise. A surprise. In fact, it bugged me. Uh, I obsess over stuff, and I had the box, and I'm like, what can I put in there that would be good for the segment? Well, you better show us. We're almost out of time. Oh, okay. Well, I, got? I, I got inspired by yesterday. I saw there. that you guys had a passion for talking about something, oh, no. and that passion <laughs> is balls. <laughs> <laughs> so I got some donut balls. Oh, balls. Oh, <laughs> See if we can get those to stick. Here you go. You wanna? Can, we can eat them too. You can. You, you can eat them. You, you, in fact, you can you can take a couple and do your weather segment with balls. Sure. Grab a bunch. Here, go oh, ahead and right. dig in I'm there. Eat one. I gotta go for chocolate. Where are these from, though? These are actually from Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yeah, they took them that. over. Mm. Mm. Corporate donuts. They're go not as good as Mr. Donut, but a, a close They'll second. They'll do. We'll take it. Mm. All right. Marty, we'll do. thank you. Great uh -huh. as always. Oh, good, Marty. <laughs> now her mouth is full. <laughs> Lauren, no rush. Man. No rush. Take your time. I know. I can't enjoy it. Mm. It is good, though. Mm. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten the whole thing just now. <laughs> it's